In this video, I am going to share with you an excellent question which comes in many competitive exams, including SAT Math 2. I would like you to pause the video, try to solve this question, and then look into my suggestions. We'll adopt two different approaches to solve this question. I hope you will understand and appreciate it. Thank you. Our approach, Engaging Minds, helps students think creatively and solve problems strategically. It helps them to connect with the context, visualize strategies, apply learnings, and bridge the gaps. Join Anil Kumar classes, gain confidence, and get ready for future. We develop mathematical and social skills for excellent performance of our students. The gift of education. I can be part of your success story, build strong foundation, and show bright future. Join Anil Kumar classes. Send an email on the address given here. Let us now enjoy the class with Abhinav. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss a challenge question based on algebraic skills. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. The question before you is, if x plus 1 divided by y minus 1 equals to 5, and x minus 1 divided by y plus 1 is 1, evaluate x square plus y square. Let me rewrite the question. It is x plus 1 over y minus 1 equal to 5 and x minus 1 over y plus 1 equals to 1. In that case, you have to find x square plus y square. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, there are a couple of ways of solving such questions. One is trial and error, which is very effective at times if you really don't know the method. So, you can try some values. In that case, you might get a result very fast since all are integers, right? x plus 1 divided by y minus 1, I need 5. So, the numerator is 5 times the denominator. But if I subtract 1 in x and add 1 to y, we get the same number. So, if you look at it, it is not a very difficult question to adopt the method of trial and error. So, therefore, I am recommending that for such questions especially. If you have no clue of answering this question, now, for some of you who would like to understand the method, so, and that is what we mean when we say the algebraic skills. Now, let's look into these algebraic skills. It is definitely a challenge question if a grade 8 or 9 student is asked this question, right? So, it may not be a challenging question for grade 10 to 12. Let us see how do we solve this question. Well, whenever you have proportions, then cross multiply. So, that's the key, right? So, whenever you look at proportions, in that case, what you need to do is cross multiply. And we are going to do the same thing. Both equations should be true, correct? So, now let us cross multiply. So, we get x plus 1 equals to 
5 times y minus 1, x plus 1 equals to 5y minus 5 and x can therefore be written as 5y minus 5 minus 1 or x is 5 times y minus 6. So, we get one of the equations, correct? Similarly, if I cross multiply the other equation, I get x minus 1 equals to y plus 1 and now I can substitute for x 5y minus 6, right? So, x, let me write like this first. Okay, it is not really required. We can straight away substitute the value of x, which is 5y minus 6 and then continue here. So, I am substituting 5y minus 6 and here we have minus 1 equals to y plus 1. And now we can find what y is. So, it is 5y minus y equals to 1 plus 6 plus 1 and here we get what? We get 4y equals to 8 and that gives you the value of y, right? So, y basically is 8 divided by 4 and that gives you a value of 2, right? Since you know y is 2, you can find x which is 5 times y minus 6. Substituting 2, we get what? 5 times 2 is 10 and then take away 6 will give us 4. So, we have both x and y values and now we can write down the answer. We need to find x square plus y square. x is 4, so 4 square plus 2 square which is 16 plus 4 which is 20. You see that. So, you could follow this particular method to solve such questions. Now, this is a very important technique, especially for the students who have just entered high school. These are the skills which they will further improve upon as they move towards grade 12. I hope the concepts are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. And once again, if you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.